Hello there, Leo. It's time for your new moon tarot reading. If you're new to the channel, this is Manifested Muse, and I am Melissa. I'm here to sprinkle some inspiration that will hopefully help you on your journey. So let's get into this new moon. This is the last new moon of 2022. It happens right alongside the winter solstice. And intuitively, I am understanding that this is um, bigger energy for manifestation than New Year's will be. Um, according to astrologists, astrologers, yes, um, there's supposedly some retrogrades that are happening um, around the 29th of December that will probably affect New Year's energy. So this is the time. This is what I'm getting intuitively as well. My personal processes will happen between the 21st and the 23rd, 21st solstice to the 23rd, the new moon. All that all that beginning energy, right? All that new um, and the sun coming and staying longer, uh, that is going to help our manifestations. So I feel like this is a great time for that. So let's talk about intention setting. Let's see what's going on with Leo first and we'll see if we can get an intention. What's going on with Leo for this new moon? What might we be closing out and opening up? What's going on with Leo for this new moon? Apprentice of Coins, the Ace of Vessels, and the Five of Coins. All right, my nose is getting itchy. Um, Apprentice is the Page of Coins, so we are planting seeds. This is exactly the card we want to see. Ace of Vessels, Ace of Cups, um, new beginnings here, new flow, if you will. New emotions of water are related to water energy emotions that kind of thing and then we have the five of coins here where there's some things that maybe need to be repaired but they're not i feel like gone forever uh so leo what do we have going on here um i i just feel like this is very beginning energy here maybe you've already planted some seeds that um that you're right now ready to work on um like now is the time for some please that you for some seeds that you've already planted um, to start um, be, you know, getting some of that energy that will help them grow. Okay. Um, but I feel like maybe there's some things that need to be taken care of um, first before you start watering that seed, if that makes sense. I feel like there are some loose ends. I think Taurus also got this card. Um, all three of these cards have come out several times and I've gone through Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer so far. Um, so yeah, if any of those other signs happen to be in your chart prominently or your big three, um, you might want to check those out too um, and see if there's a message there for you. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ga definitely getting big energy, big, big new energy, <laughs> big newness energy. This is the time for it. I, I, like I said before we started, um, this apprentice is planting seeds, learning and growing, um, just as you will, we just need to water them, but we have a new source of water, I think, to water them with once we tie up these loose ends and repair. Um, you know, we don't know how this got broken. Um, I mean, was it an accident? Was it, um, uh, <laughs> was it like, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember. Batman's mom. Can't remember. Um. If you watched the Gotham series, the TV series, I think on like, and anyway, so it was several years ago. There's a scene where um, the necklace gets ripped off and the, the pearls go flying everywhere. Kind of reminds me of that. Um, or was it um, a, a situation where um, maybe they were broke in a passionate way or maybe an accident or, you know, maybe a fit of rage. Who knows how they got broken, but the problem is not the problem. Finding the solution is the problem. If you understand, you understand. Um, but uh, I feel like there's a solution out there and the, the, the how is not important. The how is not important. It's finding the solution and fixing the problem. That is going to help with the growth of this manifestation that you have already seemingly put out there into the world. Like this, this message is in this bottle. It's being carried by the water. It's like, um, you, you took this step 
and now you're just waiting for the universe to receive your message um, and I feel like they're not going to receive it until you fix whatever this broken situation is um, could have to do with money could have to do with you know hearth and home um, could have to do with um, things that you physically own um, your physical body even um, that could have something to do with it. not to make this like about health or anything but you know maybe you're just not taking care of your body I just dropped a bunch of cards like a bunch. Oh. Well, I'm going to have to edit that one. All right. Putting them back. Giving them a shuffle. Anyways, so that's what we have. All right. That's what we're working with. Not what we have, but what we're working with is um, fixing something. Because you're putting stuff out there, but it's not going to come back to you. It's not going to reach its intended target. So we will pull some clarifiers to see what um, what might be broken. All right, so let's clarify this apprentice of coins first. What are we growing? What seeds have already been planted? Four of coins um, in a bag, right? Um, I feel like I feel like maybe there was an intention of. Not really hiding, um, hiding um, resources, but more so like keeping them for yourself. This is about not being able to let go of something. Tighten those purse strings, if you will. Um, this is about keeping things to you know for yourself. Rainy day fund, whatever. Um, maybe you planted some seeds for a rainy day fund. Uh, maybe you have already started maybe investing in something. Um, like what, what is seed money? I don't know what that means. What is, is that like an investment? Is that like an investment money or something like that? Or like, um, an account that you save things to for growing that you, you know, like that grows interest. I don't know. Whatever seed money is, that's what came up. Um, but yeah, I feel like maybe you set aside some money and that was, that's how you're planting some seeds there. All right, Ace of Vessels. Why is this Ace of Vessels here? What is the message in the bottle? Where is it going? Who's it intended for? What's this Ace of Vessels? Okay. We have the Hermit. Interesting because, <laughs> so we have the Hermit. Look at this, this bee. Um, the light is spreading. The bee is drawn to the light of that candle. Um... It's, I'm getting Icarus vibes, like, um, mm -hmm. be careful you're going to burn yourself. Um, don't burn yourself on the flame. Now, that's interesting because it's just kind of like a, a solo flame. We have some fire energy in here. It's a major arcana card, though. Um, this is about yourself. This is about self. Um, self-discovery. Like, you have to, you're going to have to touch the flame to know that it's hot kind of self-discovery. Um... But we also like getting this kind of solo energy here too. This lone bottle floating and bobbing around in the waves. Um, kind of getting this message or the, the message in the bottle or the um, the intention that was, you know, put out to sea. It's really um, more self-reflective than I think that we would expect. Um, but yeah, I, I it's like... I'm hearing like fuck around and find out energy like you're just gonna have to do it you're you're like whatever um the intention is that you put out there um it's 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 for you to learn about yourself um there is a lesson for you in this um that maybe i feel like you may not have been aware of that uh you just wanted it because it's a desire of yours you you put us intention you plant the seed um um but it's really more for the lesson that will be embedded in this uh, manifestation, if you will, whatever this um, intention is that you put out. All right, let's talk about this five of coins. What's broken here? What needs to be repaired? Death. It's not, it doesn't need to be repaired. This, it's done let go of this broken thing is what I'm getting. It's time for um, something new. The death card is about rebirth. The death card is about um, the changing of the guard, the changing of the season, the um, 
it's a transition. It's a permanent transition, um, if you will. Uh, we have uh, this path here leading to the sun. So it's not about being buried. It's um, it's it's about what sprouts after you plant the seed, right? There is a growth period here after. Um, you have to lay something to rest regarding this five of coins, whatever this broken thing is, um, whatever this loose end is. It, you don't even need to tie it up. You just need to get rid of it, donate it, toss it, whatever. Uh, that's what I'm getting for that. This is definitely a, like a, a definitely some new beginning energy, which is coming out a lot um, in these readings. So let's see if we can get an intention for Leo. What would be a great intention for Leo to set for this new moon? My nose is super itchy. Five of vessels, another five. We're talking about change. Champion of sword and the magician. Oh my gosh, dude. I kid you not. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and now Leo have all had Magician in, I swear it's all of them, I'm pretty sure it's all of them, have had the Magician included in the intention when I asked for cards for just setting an intention. I'm like blowing my own, my, my own mind away. This is crazy. Um, so we have the Five of Vessels. My nose is so itchy too. Um, another five, which um, goes to change, you know, talks about change with that Five of Pentacles. Um, death, I said, talks about change, transition. Um, but this, the, the five of cups is, is, um, focusing your energy where it's useful, in my opinion. Um, it's where the, these ones are broken. It, they're gone. There's no point in, there's nothing we can do about this, which is reminding me of this card. There's nothing we can do about it. It's done. It's time to let it die. They're gone. It's um, focus on the beginning here. More eggs as a symbol of um, of birth, of rebirth, of um, manifestation even, if you want to take it to that level. It's time to focus on the ones that need you, okay? Um, the ones that are gone are gone. It's time to let them go. If you keep focusing on those, then you're going to neglect these and those are going to end up in the same condition. It's time to let go of what's broken and focus on what uh, what you can build and what you can work with. Um, Champion of Swords, which would be like the Knight of Swords, very fast, fast movement, moving in this transition. Um, it's, it's kind of like I'm getting like... Um, I'm sorry, I keep scratching my nose. There's nothing I can do about the itchiness. Um, <clears throat> I, I feel like it's it's about like coming in and just doing a clean sweep, like cutting a cord. Like um, perhaps there is a cord cutting situation that needs to happen. Um, there are lots of videos on how to do cord cuttings. There's several different ways you can do it. Um, I recommend looking into that. Uh, that seems like an intention here, cutting cords. Um, there are many ways to do it. So um, whatever way that seems to jump out at you if you searched it here on YouTube or something. Um, watch a few videos, learn a few things. You might need to be cutting cords because that's what I'm getting here. It's a swift cutting it off. Done. Be done with it. Um, like a going no contact situation. And then, of course, the magician. This magician card has come out for every in intention. I feel like it's more just a like a reminder. This is the time to do the manifestation. The magician is a manifester knows what he's doing, knows what he needs to get it done, um, gathers all of the elements, all of the ingredients for your um, cauldron. Like, he's he's it, right? Or she, they, they're it. Um, the magician is, I feel like, coming through these cards, these specific sets, just to remind us that you can manifest this. Do it, try it, it will happen. Um, that kind of thing. So as far as intention, Cutting off. I, I am really getting a cutting off intention here. Cord cutting, perhaps, would be a good time to um, release the past. Because the new moons, yes, it's the beginning of the new cycle, but it also marks the end of the previous cycle. Like, you're you're waning down, and then that, that dark moon is the, the day before the new moon, apparent, of, like, um, according to some sources. Um, that's, like, the end, and then the new moon is the beginning. But that energy, I feel like, overlaps, so it doesn't really... Um, you could do something Thursday or Friday, um, uh, unless you 
are more interested in day of the week correspondences, then I would look into that. But um, I feel like a great intention here is just to cut the cords, to cut off the, cut off the dead weight, cut off the, like you're trimming the fat, as they would say in corporate America. Um, it's time to let go of something um, to manifest, work on just making your future better. That's what I've got for you for this new moon. Sounds like you're in for a ride. Have fun with it. Um, I feel like everyone's manifestations are just going to be so amplified this time around um, for this new moon. So do something, even if you just take a bath um, and intend like mentally and visualize. That's all you really need to do. But I feel like cutting some, there's something that needs to be cut out for, for you. So I will see you at the full moon. Make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell. Don't miss the videos that happen in between the new moon and the full moon. I'll see you in the next one. Always remember the magic you seek is within you. Have a blessed day.